So welcome back to Day of Days 2018, and I am with, okay, how much, this is, I mean, one of my all-time faves and friends. Mm -hmm. We go so far back. The first we time I went, back. Melissa Reeves was at the Daytime Emmys. I was so excited to see her, and I'm, my sister was with me, yep. and I'm yanking on her like, that's Melissa Reeves. And everybody knew back then when it was like 1980 something. I was like, wow. I love Jennifer so much. She's my favorite character. So years later, she turns out to be a dear friend, which was always when you meet somebody you watch and you love and they're really nice and great and real yeah. person. That's you. That, but that, that's you. But that's now you it, own the place. No, I own the place. place. Now I run it. Isn't it interesting now, how our lives, Yeah. You know, Isn't that crazy? crazy? And look at what you have built. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, it's been a journey, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've all been doing it together. We've been doing it together. We're talking Ooh. about the Dual app, which we launched oh Thursday for the anniversary of Days of Our Lives. Mm -hmm has so much fun content. We did a fun Facebook Live to kick it off where Melissa was yeah. doing a soap trove, a bitch slapping thing with, with Cassie, Cassie DePaiva. <laughs> we slapped each other Which back slapped forth. each other back and forth. So we're having a lot of fun. And you'll see more of Melissa on the Duel app in the months to come because we're always taping new fun content. And Michael put so much work <laughs> into that app and came up with so many creative, fun ideas that we all had so much fun doing. So you gotta check, check it, it out. out. Yeah. It's very fun. Now getting into Jennifer Rose Horton. Yeah. So she ends her relationship with Eric, which needed to happen. Yeah, you know, I feel like they loved each other through a really difficult time in both of their lives. And I believe it was a real love, but I think they are such sweet friends more than a forever love. So even though she really would have liked to have married him, I think they both knew deep down that I, they were not each other's forever. I'm not crying, I mean? guys. I'm literally, my eyes watering. You have the air conditioning blowing right on your eyes. That's what it is. I actually never thought their relationship took off in the way in a rooting factor for a couple. Yeah. Like I've rooted You're for right. other, yeah, right? Totally. It just didn't feel like a rootable. And I feel like they both just wanted to feel loved and be loved. They wanted to have someone to love. and they, But they knew that they weren't each other's forever. And then here they still have this really sweet friendship. Right. So there's going to be so much for Jennifer coming up because as we know, Matt Ashford mm -hmm. is coming back to the show. Melissa knows what happens when he comes oh back. And it's an oh my God. It's one of the most shocking scripts I've ever read in all of my years on Days of Our Lives because I didn't know how they were going to do it. And I was shocked when I read it. It's really good. And it puts Jennifer in a very different position, situation than she probably ever would yeah, expect. Yeah, it's nothing. I mean, you see your husband back from the dead, not back from the dead. You think he's been dead. And now what do you do? Where do you go from here? It's, it's good. Rough. Tell me about working with Cassie DePaiva and the Eve Jennifer relationship because the funniest thing, and we have this in the dual app, Eric Markslove does a weekly recap of what happens the week of October 29th, which is already played. And the character of Eve says, I blame Jennifer for everything that's gone wrong. So we have hashtag blame Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer is the cause of everybody's problems. I mean, yes. what is with that? Well, Eve and Jennifer go way back. Yeah. I mean, you're going back to high school. Yeah. And Eve can't quite let go of the high school rivalry. But Cassie and I, which is amazing, we are the best of friends. And it's so fun to just fight with each other every day at work. Because we end up laughing. We can barely hold our laughter in until they yell cut. So but, when they're going at it, you're like, Ugh, and then you can't. And then we start laughing. Yeah. We can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just have, like, Matt and I have this great working chemistry. Cassie and I have the same chemistry. It's like you just click with people. And it doesn't feel like work. It, it's like you're not even, you're not struggling for your lines. When you work with someone and it clicks, it just happens. And it's so nice. And we just have a ball. And the three of us together are having a ball. So you worked with two fine actresses as your daughter, Marcy Miller, oh who we're watching right now mm -hmm. as we're nearing the end of her run, yep. doing this amazing, you know, it's such a, a horrible story. Yeah where Gabby's making it look like her dissociative identity disorder yes. is back. Yep. What was it like playing the mother to Marcy? You know, and I was just talking about that earlier, that as a mother, you love your children so much, it's, it's even hard to explain how much you love them. So then all of a sudden you have to watch them be confused and hurt and angry and not know who they are and not 
and you can't do anything. You really can't help them at all. So then what do you do from there? And you feel like that with your children. It's painful, especially when you can't fix it, because when they're little, you can fix it. But as they get older and they're dealing with something so intense, How do you and fix you can't it fix it, yeah. it's hard. It's hard as a mom. And Marcy, I, I said, looking in her eyes is like, talk about seeing someone's soul. It's all and there. She is, I call her our movie star. I just think she is beautiful and amazing and mysterious and I've loved working with her. Yeah, so you were sad to see you go and then... So sad. And but then we got our sweet then Katie man, back. And Katie I mean, then we get our Katie back. So I said, how could I be so blessed to have these two girls play my daughters? I mean... And, and the oh, amazing, and yeah. Katie's so amazing in the other, you know, they're just incredible. When you look back at the best storylines that Jennifer's had, mm -hmm. is the pill addiction one of them? Where does that rate and stand? Like, what would you say off the top of your head? Like, these were stories that I yeah. either loved playing, liked playing. I, I loved playing it, but I was nervous because it was the hardest like, how am I gonna I've play ever it? played. Yeah, because you don't want to do it wrong because this is a real thing. And this is a real epidemic, and I, I don't want to dishonor it, and I don't want to do it wrong. So I was scared, but in the end, I really loved it. Um, of course, I always loved the lighter, fun. The donut, life. the hash donuts. Yeah, that, that was hilarious. <laughs> you know, all of us like buttoned up Salem girls eating JJ's donuts, you know. and That, that was just, a classic. It was hilarious. So that was great. I loved that. But I love, you know, I love all my storylines with Matt and now with Cassie. And I I've never really had a storyline that I hated. I really haven't. Because it's always the challenge of how do you make this work? How do you make the audience believe it? I have to believe it. If I don't believe it, the audience isn't going to believe it. I asked Casey Moss if he would like to have, I felt that there was a missing link of not enough scenes anymore between JJ and his mother. Why, why, what is you that about? What? I think the writers just have a really hard job. It's like, yeah. how do you constantly keep all of these characters connected and drive it with story? Some things are going to end up missing a little bit. But I know that the audience did love our scenes together. I love working with Casey. He's like he's like my real son. Well, that's the thing. I think the mother and son bond relation, you know, with yeah, your own son. Like, is that such a yeah. strong thing? And, it is. And people relate to Jennifer because she's a Horton, because mm -hmm. she's been there such a long time, yeah. because they watched her grow up. Yeah, yeah. Right? Completely. Yeah. And so now in real life, you're coffee growers. Oh my goodness. Do you all know about this? Okay. Revival Roasting okay, Re Company. Revival Roasting Company. Yes. We decided to roast our own coffee. So, we so one day beans. she walks and says, we're now roasting coffee. I'm like, what? Now they live in Nashville, her and her husband, Scott Nashville. and the kids. Okay. Yep. And Larry, our son, is really the one who started learning about roasting and like really getting into the coffee world. And it's so, you have no idea what goes in to making a good cup of coffee. And I remember Larry saying, Mom, I'm gonna make you a cup of coffee and you're not gonna need milk and you're not gonna need sugar. And I was like, no. <laughs> and he made me this cup of coffee and it wasn't like anything I ever tasted. And it was like a really smooth cup of coffee and I didn't need milk or sugar. So and he said, this is coffee, the way you're supposed to drink it. You're used to drinking burned coffee. So you don't know the difference. So this whole third wave coffee world is so incredible. So my husband learned how to roast and we built this building on our property and we have our own roastery now. We bought a roaster. So I think we should all get on a plane and like oh, fly so to the yes. to Nashville to your coffee plantation. Yes, I think you should. Yeah, I think we should. We, we buy the beans. We, we have I know, them you buy the beans. Yeah, but Scott roasts them all and it takes him 11 minutes to roast every batch and it's like a chemist. like. He can't take his eyes off that roaster. It's all math. He's like writing numbers down, changing buttons, writing numbers down, changing buttons. And it's been a kick. It's been so fun. And oh people God. have been ordering it like crazy. It's been amazing. So what are the fans saying to you the most out there? What do they say? Melissa, you're so, what are they saying today to you? Either that they want to have happen or they're saying to you um, or? Well, the, the one thing I heard the most is they're so excited about Emily and getting married. And I just think that's the sweetest thing. Like, they love our show, they love our storylines, and then they love our kids. Like, how sweet is that, you know? And they're so aware of Emily getting married and Larry getting married, and, and I just think that's so sweet. And then, of course, they've heard the rumors about Matt, so they're super excited about that. And that they're just, they just love our show. Like, it brings them so much joy. Well, we have to wrap. Thank you so much, Melissa. Happy 53rd anniversary days of Yay! our lives. I'll make sure to check out the new Dual app. Well, Melissa yes, is on the app. It's fun. Make sure to have some coffee. Revival <laughs> Roast and Coffee. Glow. And now that we've sold everything, have a wonderful <laughs> day. <laughs>